and there's many apps out there for 3d sculpting in which one you should choose today i'm going to show you three of the best apps out there my favorite one if you already saw in the thumbnail is nomads but i chose these three applications because they are amazing they have powerful tools for your mesh for exporting for a painting for working on layers for pretty much being able to do a full character ready for 3d printing or for, for a game just amazing i have to say these applications are made for ipads only and if you're like me that uh borrow one of your nephews or nieces ipad because they only watch youtube uh definitely you don't need most advanced ipad it's a ninth generation i'm still amazed that uh, it works completely fine no i haven't had any problems and these are applications that are really really powerful long time ago i used a sculptress which was an application or a software that created by the company that created cedar brush and it was an amazing no just like this one it starts just with a simple circle clay that you can just do a lot of things but the only thing that you can do was to that sphere i used to work and do just this really simple object because if you do details it will crash right away so i had really really problems with this software and even if i always build my own pc and i put the most ram that i could it was giving me problems so i'm just saying this because having an older ipad and being able to use these amazing uh, programs just blows my mind so let's start with the applications and the first one is going to be zero brush we know already that for many 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 years 3d max has been the leading software for animation for creating things in 3d but also i mean zero brush took the market many years ago on creating characters character design just is so easy and amazing on zero brush they have a unique way to do it so basically you drag like a sphere and you create like a full armature full of bubbles that's what i'm gonna call it and then you can just put everything together mix them and create your details zero brush if you get this application you will get over 200 brushes and if you're a digital artist or if you have used photoshop you understand the benefits of having brushes of course a lot of programs allow you to create your own brushes and use them but uh, if they're there it's just amazing also zero brush have a lot of pre objects what i mean is that uh, if you want to create an elephant they have like the armature of an elephant if you want to create a giraffe or you want to create a warrior a man a woman uh, pretty much they have a huge library of pre-made meshes that you can use so you can start quickly creating something without starting from completely starting from zero i really like that more if you already know about the sculpting so i uh, over here at the bottom of the the page we can see that this application does record some data it's not much to be honest i don't like that companies want my data so i know that almost every single app you already share your data and it's kind of pointless avoiding some to do that but still this one doesn't take much and if we go over here we know that this ipad is required to have the ipad os 17 or and the a12 chip so this is important because if you don't have an ipad that has a chip or it can upgrade to 17 and most likely you won't be able to use it or you're gonna have problems like i mentioned before where apps just crash this is an amazing app i have seen and heard about people saying that uh, i don't know if they created the zbrush app that way but basically because you have to use kind of both hands to navigate it seems like the best way to work is having an uh being on a desk sitting down having a space so you can really work around so that was interesting if we go on down also we can see that uh it says that it has a free price i don't remember seeing the free version but it's possible a lot of companies they give you the free version but you cannot access if i remember completely here you download the free one you only get like 20 brushes and also you cannot export all your files so having it i mean it could be good just to try the program to see what you can do to learn some of the tools and because it does have limitations if not you can get the full program for ten dollars a month which is not really that bad comparing that uh professional studios use zero brush so paying that probably is nothing for them but it's not in my budget you can do 90 a year like i mentioned before it's not that much either but it's still not in my budget so the most important thing here is that uh, if you don't care about and paying for subscription this app could be just amazing it is uh we have a forger that this application also is sell by maxim computer just like zero brush 
but it's, it's completely different than the interface. Some people say it's a little bit easier, easier to paint, but uh, it also comes with a lot, a lot of amazing tools. It has a full library of primitives, objects, so you can start. A lot of people, a lot of apps, they already come with like a cone, pyramid, cubes, torus, and things like that. But um, they said this one is really good. I've seen people do an amazing thing when they paint. Probably this one has a really good tools for painting. But uh, this is the only one that has also bad start reviews. So like the program crashes, so it doesn't have what it's supposed to have. So sometimes I do believe what people say, but uh, you cannot make most people happy. So I always give a second chance or I wanna try by myself to see if that affect me on the decision of purchasing this one. Probably, and to be honest, I was gonna go and get this one because it sounds like an amazing app, but I went for for the next one. But before we go to that one, also over here, we have just basic information that it gets collected. And then we go over here, you require an iPadOS 16, which means that a uh, older iPad than the one that ZeraBush require could be used with this program. I'm also amazed how all these ones are uh, available for Apple Vision Pro. I don't own one because I don't, but I have tried it and I have done the demo on the Apple Store and I think it will be amazing. But over here we have also, it says that it has a free version. Like I mentioned before, most of the time they have so many limitations that the best thing is going for the subscription. This one is really decent, it's better than Zero Brush and uh, it's $1.99 a month or $14.99, but still not on my budget. So we'll go to the one that I love the most that I'm using it, the one that I just downloaded a few hours ago and that's why I decided to, to actually create this video is Nomad Sculpt. And by the way, none of this company pay me to do a review. It's just some that I just have seen how they're amazing. And now that I own Nomad Sculpt, I'm gonna be able to, to share more sculpting with the, this one. But definitely you can do everything you can do color your pieces, do a lot of good details. I have to say that I feel that Zero Brush and Forge, they have more tools to start quicker your, your piece or give you like more precise details. But still, I think that this program can do almost the same thing that the other ones can. No, it will be more about the artist. This is just a tool. But over here, what I love the most is that it's more friendly. No, when you are really working, you can be, I can be drinking from my water and I could be just rotating and moving around with one hand and, and being able to, to work. And the other ones I've seen that you have to use both to control everything. So for sure, I've been liking it. And one of the things we go all the way here at the bottom, it doesn't collect any data. How amazing is that? And then if we go to the price version, we see that they go all the way to iOS 15. So that means that uh, an older iPad can handle this app which that's great. We have that the price, the full price, if you want to own this software is $20, which is nothing if you compare that uh, it will be used forever. And I have to know if someone knows what happened to Zero Brush because basically Zero Brush was the same thing. I think it was like $200, but you were able to buy the program and then have updates forever. What happened when they changed the subscription? If someone knows, please let me know in the comments if they just stop or they keep giving those updates. But basically I'm saying that because some people are saying that probably Nomad will go to a subscription base just because we know it's the way that they make more money. So it could happen, hopefully it doesn't, but um, that's the only thing that you have to pay $20 and it's yours with all the tools, no limitations. One of the things that is really cool, and I know this sounds like really expensive over here, $16, but this is more than anything, an add-on, a tool, an extra tool for this program. And it's a remeasure. Remeasure is and basically when you have a 3D object, you have polygons in every single app or program, they have a way to kind of remesh the object. So if you have polygons and they are all crushed, all having um, just not being really clean, it will help you reclean the object without trying to avoid losing details. But with this one, this tool, the quad remeasure, is amazing because it really cleans everything. The one that comes already, they do a good job, but they don't do such a good job like this one. I think it's really worth it, just $16 for that. It will just improve your piece. Because remember, if the polygon is not done correctly, could be that a 3D print fails just because of that. Or if you are creating a piece that is more for game design, the program, the movement, they're not gonna work correctly. And that's why you have those weird things happen sometimes because the mesh is just not really well done. 
So let's let's talk about a little bit. I'm gonna show you the program. I just play a little bit and I did two things. It's not the greatest and not the most detailed. I do wanna create something really detailed. I'm gonna show that in the future. But basically we can see right away that we can grab a tool, we can just draw, we can uh, also just grab and move or play sphere. And we have that, that mirror uh, that we can choose an object and it will put it in the other side and pretty much everything will be uh, symmetrical. But one of the more important thing is more if you're a beginner, I will really suggest to explore more and do tutorials of base, basic tutorials where they show you the tools on the top because basically those will help you configure the app so it's easier for you to use and you can understand a lot of more options than just the tool, the brushes to just move the clay around. Also, most of this program, the best way to do digital sculpting is to put different objects, mix them together. What I'm talking about is create kind of an armature, a shape, and then you can just put things together and uh, remesh them <laughs> and just create something else. Like I mentioned before, this is an old iPad and this is not even an Apple Pen. So I'm going to leave a link in the description. My Apple Pen, I lost it. I don't know what happened. So I got a really cheap one and it works amazing. So just in case you don't have an Apple Pen, you want something cheaper, I'm going to leave it in the description. It's working amazing. The battery lasts for a long time. It has a USB-C cable. I'm just thinking about this. The one is paying me for saying it. I just, I found it on Amazon and it's amazing. I'm, so I'm going to leave the affiliate link, but that's an option. So like you can see over here, I was able to create this snail. I didn't want to use, I wasn't even thinking of creating this kind of type of character. I would just want a snail because it has really cool tools that you can create lines and then modify them. I mean, I can see creating a serpent or even a dragon on a really, really quick way because of those tools. So over here, I was just trying out what they do. <laughs> so it wasn't my intention to create like a dog face. And then I created this, I don't know what it is, but uh, this type of snail. I was so excited that how easy it was. Like I say, it took me like five to 10 minutes to create this that I decided just quickly to play more around, see if I can change colors, just just to see if I can modify some of the tools. And I did, it's like you see over here, it looks a little bit different. I was able also just to quickly create something really, really easy. And like I mentioned before, if you're a beginner, not only look for uh, basic tutorials, I will really suggest to look for tutorials about mirror and symmetry because there are amazing tools in this app. Let me know what would you like to know more. If you want a tutorial, you want me to do like a really detailed like a warrior or more detailed character and the most important, enjoy art, enjoy sculpting and see you next time. Dime si él te conoce la mitad de lo que te ama este loco que dejaste en libertad.